Hello and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial on how to get infinite white product photography pictures. You might remember or you might want to see the video here but I showed you how to do really simple product photography in a bath with a camera and a simple flash. Straight out of camera I got images like this and with a little bit of editing you can get infinite white images like this. I'm going to show you how now. I've got a really old version of Photoshop um, so you could use the typical workflow with any Photoshop but mine's old so yours will probably be more advanced um, don't work on the original copy the layer and there are several ways we can do this one the easiest way is to go to levels this one is the white point go very close to the image oh sorry the lens and click and that's done in all honesty you're done there so let's have a look at the difference we've got pure whites it and it hasn't really affected anything else it's brightened the blacks so if we really wanted to we could pick something we could say and the the darkest black point is here so this is what we're saying is black and that's what we're saying is white and actually that's pretty good it's giving it a bit more contrast and another way we can do it is with curves put a point here put a point there and this is the highlight points so just drag that up actually let's get rid of that point yep everything has gone pure white we've got some clipping maybe drop it down a bit now we could sort of put the curves back to normal we could sort of go along that route that looks pretty good or we could do some there's two ways here we could do masking so if we get our brush we could say set it to black we don't want this to be affected and we could paint over this in black and it would be saying this lens don't affect it don't affect what's in the black region and there's a much easier way to do this I'm just doing it really quickly to show you all I could use my selector I could use my magic wand you'll see over here it's there click alt click here I don't know what it is on a Mac I'm on a PC click alt again and here's our before and after see the lens doesn't really change the other way you can do it let's just reset this make my brush really big and white The other way we can do it is with something called the history brush and actually I'm going to get rid of that layer mask and I'm going to get rid of that adjustment because I'm going to do it again and I'm going to show you what we're going to do so ooh, that's, that's very bright isn't it let's go with that over here we have something called the history brush if I can find it Ah, here we are. History brush. So we need to apply that layer adjustment to this layer by merging them. And now we can use the history brush. And what the history brush is, what the history brush does, is it returns it to its previous state. So I'm going to, rather than a mouse, I'm going to use a graphics tablet for this. So that's saying, go back. When I paint over this, it's saying, go back to the state it was before so anything I paint over with the history brush it goes back to the state it was before there we go again I'm not going to spend ages doing it I do what I think looks good to a standard that shows you at home how to do it 
Yeah. Yeah, pretty happy with that. And again, if we wanted to keep that shadow in, because you can see it just looks, I mean, it looks good, but it just looks like I've sort of manipulated it. We could sort of go over this with a history brush. I've done a bit of a rubbish job down here, but there we are. So there's the two ways in Photoshop how to, how to give a really good product photography and give an infinite white background. And I've shown you the way to do it in Lightroom. Depending on what software you have, it's going to be up to you. Thank you very much.